Good morning, folks. This is the original Shotgun Outdoors coming to you. Coming to you this morning to talk a little bit about fire, emergency fire specifically, but this can be used anywhere that you need to have a fire. You, know, you can spend a lot of money on fire starting equipment. Uh, you know, a lot of times people take out their woods a fair wide, they're striking, or they learn how to do a primitive and all that stuff. And that's all good knowledge, and I don't discourage anybody from doing that. But if you're out taking a hike or something like that, you know you're going to be in the woods. We have modern conveniences that we can take out there. Okay, we don't need to go out there, you know, and say, hey, well, you know, I'm just going to go out there with my knife and my little fire starter, and that's going to be it. Now, if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. But for most of us, we like to use the modern conveniences. Technology's made life a little bit easier for us. Why not make it a little bit easier on yourself? So I always have a little kit that I put in my pocket, even if I'm just walking through, you know, the, what they call the Metro Parks here. I don't know what they call it in your neighborhood, but they have a thing called the Metro Parks. And uh, it's a park system. It's wilderness, but it's tamed wilderness. Um, you could encounter wildlife on there occasionally. Uh, we have some bears. There'll be a bear warning or something like that over here in the one uh, system. Um, there are coyotes. Uh, you know, most of the time this stuff is, is pretty much harmless, but what if there's a rabid one? I hope you all don't mind if I smoke. Anyway, you know, so anyway, there's a number of situations could occur, but it's always good to have that ability to start a fire. So, I make a real simple fire kit. You, main thing, put one of these in your pocket. A fresh one, preferably. You don't smoke or whatever, just put one of these in your pocket. Now, you can put it in one of these, and that way you don't have to worry about it getting wet. But even if it gets wet, it'll dry out. Okay, but this, you know, matches are good but you gotta really keep those things dry but here's a lighter boom there it's waterproof okay but that's just one thing you should have in the store they sell these little fire starter things not very big i'll start a fire these are nice to have you can toss two or three of these in a backpack a side pack your pocket you got cargo pockets you can toss it in there and it'll help you start a fire. You know, even if your wood is a little damp, it burns for about, you know, five, ten minutes. Once you set this on fire, and it starts on fire relatively easy with your lighter, you can get a fire going. It'll light some of the most ornery wood. But when there's these, this is a nice little thing to have in, in your little kit. It's... Uh, Yuko Stormproof Matches. And it, it even gives you a little piece of starter material there. But these are stormproof matches in a waterproof container. Okay. You can throw that in your pocket. You know, along with one of these, you got a fire. You just got to collect the wood. But there's another one that I like. I take a piece of cotton, tear it into balls like this, okay? This is my favorite because it's cheap. A cut, how much is it? You can get a whole big bag of cotton balls for a little or nothing. And then a little tube of petroleum jelly. This runs from my local riot aid, but it's just a little traveling pack of petroleum jelly. You could put up, you could stuff one of these baggies full of cotton balls and put this in your pocket and do it later. Or what I do is I take them beforehand. Now this is a real small one, real small. And I'm just gonna show you how effective this is. See, I put a glob of petroleum jelly on there and I just work it into the cotton, okay? I work that into the cotton. Okay, once I get that fully saturated, that's ready to go in my plastic bag. 
I'm going to wipe my fingers off here on this other one because I'm going to do a few of them and put them in a plastic bag. But to show you how effective this is as a fire burner, there's that little piece of cotton in the ashtray. I'm just going to take a regular match. My favorite drug mark. All these groceries, these drug stores. Okay, so here's the match. I get a match lit. Touch it to there. <laughs> Come on, I know you work. There we go. Now it's starting to burn. I left the match on there because it was getting hard on my fingers. But you see it's burning. Can you see that okay? Now that little ball. Look at the big flame I have. That's out of that little ball there. Yes, and the match is still stuck there. But the match isn't what's burning. It's the cotton. But what keeps the cotton going good is the petroleum jelly is actually what's burning. And this burns a nice big flame here. Hope I don't set off my uh, smoke detector. But that'll burn for a while. Long enough to catch some kindling. Or even their reluctant tree branches. And that's a cheap way to go. I'm going to blow this out before it cracks my ashtray. Okay, now it'll set the smoke detector up. <laughs> But there's, the, you know, that'll burn for, you know, several minutes, maybe five minutes at a little one. But I'm usually making them this big. That'll burn for five, ten minutes. And I can crunch a bunch of these up, break them beforehand, and throw them in this bag. And petroleum jelly is waterproof anyway. It's going to burn. It's petroleum jelly. So even if it did moisture got in here it wouldn't affect the petroleum jelly portion of it and if you thoroughly soak these it's not going to affect that because the water can't get in where the petroleum jelly has penetrated the fibers of this so it's, it's really a, uh, a good way to go so you can stash all your little fire stuff in a little pouch there's the plastic bag you know, but you should have this kind of stuff, and it's not hard to do, and it's relatively cheap, and fire serves a lot of purposes, and you might say, well, <laughs> I'm never going to go anywhere to have that. Maybe you need it in your car. I think of a scenario this winter time, over there in Virginia, D.C., around that area, where there was bad accidents, and people were stranded on the freeway for well over a day with no help. Nobody came to help them. And what if you only got a quarter tank of gas? You got to turn it on, get a little heat, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And you're not going to stay warm, okay? Maybe you get out on the side of every freeway. There's trees and stuff like that. Maybe you get out and go grab some firewood. Start a little fire there on the side of the road. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would come over and help you if they've seen you get a nice fire going. So... You could be out in the middle of nowhere riding along and have a problem and you need to start a fire. Fire is the best way to signal people. You're stuck somewhere, you don't have a cell phone, cell phone's not working. Start a fire, you know, <laughs> in the park. You fall down, break your leg, roll down a trail into a ditch, okay? You're like, help, help. Nobody hears you. How are they going to know you're down there? I guarantee you, you start a fire. Somebody's going to see that smoke. Or smell it. And be wondering. A lot of those places are not even allowed to have a fire. But I think they'll let you go. Well, they won't fight you then. And even if you do get a ticket for lighting a fire. Hey, at least they can find you. You're not out there dead. Right? But the ranger maybe. Somebody lit a fire back there. I better go see what's going on. And there you are. When they find a fire there, they find you. And you've got a broken leg. You can't walk out of there. So, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. 
keep fire starting equipment with you. The more the merrier. Doesn't have to be much. Anyway, God bless you. And I wish you the best. Maybe this helps you. Maybe it doesn't. Just something that I do. I'm not telling you what to do. Just making a suggestion. So, either like it, love it. Don't like what I'm doing. Got a better way. So be it. No argument out of me. Okay? God love you. This is the original shotgun outdoors. The original. There is no other. Anybody claims to be, they're an imposter. God bless you. <laughs>